Hi, Elliot. I'm Bella from up the street. I, I don't mean to bother you, but Grace called me to check in on you. Great music. They have an amazing script with a deep insight into human psyche, all with an awesome performance or performances and a very clever depiction of the conditions portrayed and they just superbly bring the audience to a maze of thoughts and blurry messages and confusion and memories that are not there or are they? It's just magically scripted. I totally enjoyed it. It is terrible. That was an interesting trip. Um, yeah, at first it uh, had that eeriness uh, that uh, made it feel like, a, like some kind of strange um, supernatural uh, movie a little bit. Um, and I uh, wasn't quite sure at one point um, if we were uh, in uh, the lead character's mind or if we were in an, some kind of objective um, supernatural uh, environment. Uh, the, the light in the shed was, uh, was kind of curious to me. And then uh, it turned into this, uh, uh, just an exploration into the, um, the mind of uh, the mentally troubled um, young man and uh, yeah so that that little flip kind of uh, gave, gave it an anchor but at the same time left us destabilized at the same time um, I thought it was well handled um, I like the performances uh, the yeah the story was was quite uh, engaging. We wanted to know what's going on with this young man, and we wanted to um, see what what that we sensed the danger throughout, and we weren't sure what it is, and uh, um, it kept me uh, going. And created um, different layers of this individual's dark kind of inner world and the way that people on the outside didn't understand what this person was going through, didn't really realize the depth and complexity of what this person was going through. Um, and I liked the symbolism of the lunar scape or the night sky, um, creating a sense of like zooming out away from the like suffering and um, confusion and fragmented experience of this uh, individual and I also thought that it was effective contrast between being in this kind of idyllic sort of isolated nature environment of this big beautiful house but then having the like inner torment and darkness and confusion of the main character I thought that was a, a really effective um, contrast uh, really cool film um, you know I had trouble kind of following the story for a lot of it which I think you know, the confusion is, is kind of part of the story and it's baked into the story. Um, but I, I really liked the ending. I thought that was a, a cool touch and a nice twist I didn't see coming. And, you know, it was full of some, some great shots. I mean, I thought the, I guess the barn with the light coming out, I thought that was really cool. Um, yeah, it was a, it was a good film. I, I I, really I thought this was really a compelling character piece. I enjoyed the way it took its time to let us uh, sort of get acquainted with the characters, get uh, sort of under our skin in a way, in a good way, um, and just really build up that tension, that uh, sort of creepy quality to it, um, and the back and forth, the push and pull, uh, up until that inevitable breaking point, which when it comes is really uh, satisfactory. There's some just really strong direction, strong writing, and some really good performances 
Um, this one that just kind of keep the story going and make it absolutely worth checking out. Interesting. Um, definitely a scary starting premise with the first character arriving and then her friend and then the multiple personalities of the one character and the different voices. I thought the acting was really great to kind of make those two characters come alive within the one um, actor that was just really really well done and really great and I generally felt scary watching it so kudos um, it also really interesting in terms of not being sure what would happen the sort of surreal impact and I thought that the ending worked really well for giving me that sort of sense of understanding and closure um, as an audience member and it just contextualized um, the whole this whole story <laughs>